the master. How are you? Oh, yeah, you are. You're the best. Janine thinks you're the greatest thing since the guillotine. So All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, that's nice. <laughs> that's awesome. Thanks for riding so many of our monsters, hey. by the way. That's, you just... You know, I, I love the stuff, and who doesn't? Yeah, but you're using it on stage. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, I use it everywhere. Oh, it's on every night in our show. Oh, man, that's great. Now, we had to remake this, step, this, because, you know, it's a fairly safe thing, but... Not safe enough for me, you know, if, if you were not really paying attention, you'd get, get hurt. So we changed this so it was really safe. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. <laughs> I thought about it. Yeah. Have someone just dump them off. Yeah. I think he's singing to everyone. Oh, exactly. I just went off the stage. Yeah. <laughs> Are you using him tonight? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You're picking him up here and you're going to have him... Put him in the wheelchair and I'm going to wheel him out. <laughs> well, actually, I'm going to have Ozzy awesome. Osbourne wheel him out. Oh, no. Are you serious? Because our Ozzy wheels me out and I sit in the chair and I say, no more Mr. Nice Guy, as Ozzy Osbourne's pushing me in the wheelchair. And then oh, I get up and walk great. around, so I thought, what if, what if we push this and then just walked away through a curtain or something and I appear somewhere else? Oh man, that's Like you right into the next song. Right. Right. And they go, what? And I got the snake and that all that. Simple. You've got to be one of the hardest working bands in the country because you're trying to exactly replicate their music their persona, their makeup, and, and their tour. concert. Yes. Yeah. So do you still love it, the rock and roll life song? It's so much better than the forklift job. <laughs> Have you done the forklift job? Yes. See, I've done the forklift job, but I don't know if I could handle the pressure and the, the anxiety and the, and the night to night, late, crazy. I don't know. That's really kind of a gift. I, I mean, think, if you can handle I think I was born with it, to be honest with you. I have a cassette tape at home. I grew up in a foster home. My mom and dad, they took kids in. I was three years old and I was taking my little tape recorder. I don't know why I did this. I don't, I don't know what made me think about what DJs did or interview people. Right. I, don't, I don't know what that was. But I went and I interviewed the, the kids in the foster home. Like, who are you? What's your name? You know, with this thing. And they, they turned it around me. Who are you? I said, Bobby Jetson. What are you going to do? I said, sing. Oh. You know? So yeah, I, have, that's I have to. And you were how old? Three years old. That's. I said, said to me. They that, said, "How old are you?" I said, "Three years." That's borderline destiny stuff. I mean, you get you get a story like that. It's like. Mm. Yeah.